Hi church family, coming to you this morning with another daily encouragement and um, I personally have been going through the book of Job in my devotional time and uh, just wanted to share a couple of things that the Lord really impressed on me and something that really stood out to me in chapters 38 and 40 as Job's crisis was coming close to an end. It would not be long after that that the Lord would restore all that he had lost. You know the story of, of all that Job had lost, but the Lord uh, said something to Job that I thought was very interesting, and he said to Job, now prepare yourself like a man. And then he went through a series of questions and statements about himself to Job, um, really just to prove who he was, to prove his sovereignty, um, to prove his power, and uh, to reveal more of himself to Job. He was saying, Job, I have more work that I want to do in you. After all that Job had been through, God is saying, Job, I'm not done yet. I still want to teach you. I still want to reveal my plan to you and reveal more of who I am to you. You know, in our context, the year 2020 has been really a crazy year, hasn't it? Well, guess what? We're only halfway through. And there's more to come. We have an election in November. And who knows where things will end up with the pandemic, with other things, the, the strife and division that's happening in our country. A lot could happen in the next six months. And I think the Lord would tell us, you, you may be coming to the end of your crisis, whether it's the pandemic, maybe the racial strife is beginning to die down. and things are starting to look a little better. The Lord is saying, I still want to do a work in you. I still want to teach you and equip you. And I want to reveal more of myself to you. So may we be open to receiving from the Lord and hearing from Him. And I thought it was awesome in chapter 42, after all Job had been through, after losing so much, after the, the strife and the issues he had with his friends who were no encouragement to him, even after his wife said, why don't you just curse God and die? After all those things, it says that the Lord restored Job's losses. And it says he had twice as much at the end than he did at the beginning. You know, I know a lot of people have suffered loss. A lot of people are dealing with strife and even, um, you know, disagreements with people. It, it kind of grieves me to see some of the things that are on social media when believers go against each other on some of the uh, current events that we see in the news. You know, Job had some friends that that really came against him. And there at the end, Job prayed for them. Their relationship was, sto was restored. And that's when, in chapter 42, it says, after he prayed for his friends is when the Lord restored Job's losses. And so whatever you're dealing with today, if you're still struggling with the current events, if you're dealing with strife between a brother and a sister, pray for them. And the Lord can really do a work in us when we turn from those things and, and not have anything to do with those things. I also love it when Job said to the Lord, he said, no purposes of yours can be withheld from you. God is wanting to do a great work in each and every one of us, and He will accomplish His purposes. And may, may we be ready and willing and yielded to receive all that He desires to do in us and to do through us. And may we, as the Lord said to Job, prepare ourselves like a man and receive those things that he has for us. God bless you, we'll see you soon.